Hey everybody, welcome back to Dinertown Detective Agency. Let's solve a case at the library. Somebody ripped all the endings out of the mystery books? That is terribly cruel, terribly cruel. The library is my home away from home. My sanctuary, my place of ultimate happiness. My bastion, okay, I get it, Bernie, you like books. Yes, yes I do. <sighs> Okay, so I need to find a peace sign and an amulet and all sorts of other crazy things. Oh my gosh, I'm finding nothing. Okay, well, there's a fingerprint there. And, uh, soda. I. There we go, there's an amulet. Soda, ink stain, uh, a letter. A rejection letter? Oh no. Okay, we need to find a how to book. Uh, donuts. Yeah, found the donuts. I can find the donuts. Yeah, yeah, finding the donuts is not a problem. And a clock. And we need to find a driver's license and a thermometer. Yeah, uh, hmm. Let's see. There's a candy cane. That's not an item I want to find. Right there was a fingerprint. Found the third fingerprint by random guessing. Thank you, random guessing. <laughs> Driver's license, apron, thermometer. You know, sometimes, sometimes you can just zoom through hidden object challenges, and then other times, the hardest, hardest time finding anything. Okay, apron. Is that Flo's apron? I don't know. And a salmon. I think it'd be easy to find a fish just lying in the middle of nowhere, right? <laughs> hmm, a how-to book. There's the peace sign. Soda's probably gonna come in a can. Like that. That's an ink stain. Okay, I had to click on it four times before I got it correct. That doesn't seem very fair. A uh, salmon pen and a how-to book. That's a salmon. Just cooked salmon in the middle of nowhere. Oh, boy. A how-to book. Uh, is it that yellow book? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, it's that yellow do-it-yourself book. Okay. There's a pen. That was a hint for the uh, second to last item here. Where is it? The apron, okay, and then we have a puzzle. We have a puzzle, look at the books. They're out of order. We'll put them back on the shelves. Hmm. Gosh, this is gonna be kind of hard. So let's say each row is this one. Is that not it? Wait a minute, what if? It's like a picture. Those two suns go together. Yeah, it's like a picture like that. It's a picture like that. Okay, so all the pieces have to uh, go together like a jigsaw puzzle. So then that means this row looks like that. I don't know where this blue thing would be. Okay, that, that man's shoulder goes there. That castle goes there. That castle must go there, too. This must be some sort of money thing, right? There we go. I've got one uh, column correct. Yeah, so I only focused on the rows here. I don't know what the, the thing with the columns is. So all these books are reserved for Mr. Big. He likes detective work, travel, business, space, and science. Okay. Yeah, he likes a, a lot of different things. Back to the puzzle. We're trying to find a thermometer. Hmm, it's not this. Okay, it's definitely not that. There on the wall. Haha, <laughs> on the lighthouse. Who could hate books? That would be so disrespectful. Okay, this puzzle again. Oh man, that's kind of hard to tell. Yeah, that's definitely a match. 
that's definitely a match. This one is a match. Okay, I missed, uh, oh, I actually missed this one, huh? Well, what do you know? Let's ID the culprit. So the culprit likes writing and has a typewriter. So Ernie wants to be an author. So Walter does not have a typewriter. So it's not Walter. Walter's innocent. Toshiro um, apparently gets bad grades. So Toshiro's innocent. Let's make Ernie the guilty party. I sent my mystery manuscript to every publishing house I can think of, and they all sent it back with the same note. The ending stinks! So I decided to surround myself with the best endings out there. But the library only lets me check out three books at a time, so I just ripped the ending out of every everything. Oh, no, no, no. Just get books from somewhere else. Let's do the clothing store. Somebody's dressing my mannequins like they belong in a renaissance fair. Now everybody wants to buy pantaloons. I didn't know clothes were so expensive. I buy all my clothes at the second-hand shop. I thought I smelled your overcoat before. <laughs> Let's use hints to find those really hard-to-find um, you know, invisible items right there. Okay, so I need to find earrings. I need to find a tie. I need to find a, a wedding veil. Yeah, so it's going to be mostly just clothing here, right? All clothing? So... Heart, comb, shoes, and a bracelet. I see lots of shoes, though. Okay, theater poster. There's that. I need, need to find some thread. Is lipstick? No, not lipstick. There's a tie. There's a thermometer. <laughs> uh, Self-help book again. Huh, okay for the invisible clue. Uh, wow. Really tough to find that. Coffee beans, suspenders, and shoelaces. Shoelaces. Cowboy hat. Great. Now we're down to all the items on the list. There are no more items that are going to appear on the list after this. So I need a comb. Ah, I got... I got a little anxious and clicked too many times. Wow, why am I finding nothing? There's a comb. Okay. Earrings and a tie. It says invisible item there. Barely visible coffee beans, I'd say, definitely. Basil, heart, and thread. There's the heart. Okay. Earrings and tie and suspenders. Earrings. Bracelet. There's the bracelet. Thread and basil. Yeah. That's a bow tie. Oh, come on. That's kind of cheating. Oh, well. The uh, suspenders, a self-help book. So the book was yellow last time. I'm not seeing any yellow books here. Well, there's a book. Okay, so our culprit is not very brave if they have a, a book on how to overcome fears. Those are not suspenders. I, uh, these things are suspenders for sure. Okay, we need to find basil and we need to find some thread. Thread, basil, got it. Did you see this spiffy new blazer I picked up for myself? Yeah, Bernie, very sophisticated. You look like, well, Bernie in a new blazer. Okay, so let's solve this. This is clearly a picture of the library where we were just at. So let's pick 
pick up all the, uh, I don't know where this is. Maybe here on the left? I don't know. This here? Looks like some sort of park scene over here on the right. This must go somewhere on the left. Yeah, the leftmost th thing. Okay, maybe not. That's... Let's get this guy's eyeball. Get that there. That's, this is clearly some sort of a workplace. It's probably that big corporation. Okay, here's this character working on the computer. no idea what this thing is on the right hand side. <laughs> where where is that? It looks like a horse. It looks like somebody was drawing a picture of a horse on this uh, picture. Yes. Almost done. Good. Okay, and now let's ID the culprit. So likes classics, likes beautiful girls, and is not brave. So Tyler loves the classics. Beautiful girls, Stella prefers handsome men. Tyler or Cookie, one of them's brave. I forget which one. Oh, well, that's not very helpful. Cookie's at my fashion shows. He likes beautiful girls. Cookie doesn't read. He doesn't read. Okay, so Cookie is innocent, and Stella is innocent. Therefore, Tyler is guilty. Hooray. The girl I like is playing Juliet in the school play, and Romeo's up for grabs since the big mono breakout. Only one thing stands between me and that role. A crippling case of stage fright. I'm kind of working my way up to real people. So dress up mannequins in old-fashioned style so you could talk to them as practice for being in the Romeo and Juliet Shakespeare play. That is a very, very silly motive indeed, yes.